So welcome everybody to another level up. Today we're gonna talk about king making. Now king making is the process whereby a person who's playing a multiplayer game, let's say the first and second player are really close in points, and the third and fourth player have no way of ever becoming the winner. So there are two sides to it. One side says that you since you're not in contention anymore, you shouldn't affect the game anymore, means meaning that you shouldn't do anything to give the first and second player points because that would decide the winner. So you should stick out with the other side says that you should always hit the leader because well he's the leader. Now, you know, for me personally I never really like the idea of you know saying that king making is wrong. Personally, you know, for me there are two sides. One is the thematic and non-thematic. For me thematic I play a lot of games almost always thematically, no matter the game, I always play with a story in my head. And throughout history, you never is was rare. Very rare that people do the situation on the Alamo whereby they was literally fight to the death you know especially nations and um, entire dynasties usually at one point they will give up and help the leader so to speak you know they join their army so that they can keep their certain posts or positions and all of that they rarely fight to death on the non-thematic side by king saying a person is king making and either he should do something or the other what happens is that the game becomes a bit pointless to the person because he has no more goal and basically he should just ba just leave the game and allow someone to bot him so that because if he's either told that you must hit the leader or you should not have any make any decision that affects the winner then basically he shouldn't he doesn't even need to be there you know it's kind of boring so today i'm going to give some uh, ways i see to solve the key making issue or, and of course these ideas are for the most part in certain games already which i just want to hope to see more of these in game although of course just as a preface there are times where you know the king making thing can be legitimately annoying such as if a person like the standard rpg thing where they say the boyfriend keeps helping the girlfriend no matter what you know, that's an extreme and when it comes to extremes of course there is some case to argue king making so now the first thing to do is to look at the solution rather than the plot so how do we solve this the first thing is the goal all right to look at the goal that maybe a second or third or fourth player might have can be more matters because like something like risk legacy or let's say descent and games like that game progression whether you're second third or fourth you carry your present position into the next game meaning that if you were third all right it actually might make sense to carry on let's say if you are playing a game and you have a lot of wood all right maybe you, in this game you continue to collect wood so the next game you don't have to collect as much wood and you can spend your time trying to get the lead by going somewhere else because now you have all this wood as you can see with campaign mode being as it is and you carrying your progression it's not as important to let's say if you can't win anymore because that's another game to look forward to and that's with a longer term goal you can even if you're not first place now you can still fight towards the end game in a way the last scenario so campaign mode is one of the ways i think that easily solves this the other is um one of my favorites is actually secret goals but i would put in a caveat in the rules that say that if you don't achieve them and you don't get those extra points or whatever they are that the rules say you don't turn them over because you see with secret goals sometimes it, the cool thing about secret goals is no one knows what it is, so therefore you might do something absolutely nonsensical to some persons, but actually what you're doing, you're reaching towards a goal. And so the important thing is that if you don't score and you don't need to turn it over and it's in the rule book that says you don't turn it over, the overly competitive person then can't see that you were doing something because you just wanted to get second place. So if you didn't get points, you can just keep it face down so that he won't get offended in a way. You know, and trust me, having something in a rule book that says um don't don't turn it up really does help because you know like when i play me they say the shortest player goes first i fight for five you know and we don't have to follow that but we usually we always do follow those rules that come in a rule book even though we know they won't affect the game somewhat because it's just fun again it, here's the thing it's in the rule book so you know by not uh, by saying not having to turn it up you can play the game as you like so that's one of the ways i, I think like secret goals really help the situation because you know 
people can't really blame you for doing something whereas when it's open goals and there's an optimized way people can attack you for doing something or trying even just trying to reach second place sounds like a sin in a way the other only affects thematic gamers like when i play a war game like i said i don't ever fight or even any other game in fact i don't really fight to without a story in my head and like when i play patch history we had we were playing a three player um game or patch history and one player already was pretty much the winner he basically had a lot of points it was really i think it was almost impossible to catch i don't think it was impossible i think it's almost impossible he had really large point score lead and so what happened is that like people already know i do this often is that if i know i can't win anymore i'll try to get as high as place as possible you know try to avoid last place kind of thing that's what you call it and so i started to then also have a story in my head whereby my nation was asking to join the best nation and then after they get a position in their government so that i could write a story and all that later on therein comes the at least for the thematic gamers a way to make second third or fourth place not maybe not last place but your know, second third place worth it is by in the game having a title system meaning the first place the emperor the second the prime minister so on and so forth you know like second third or fourth place has some place in the story you know like let's say if you're second third or fourth place you, you are the second place is the villain or third place is the villain so maybe a person might actually want to be the villain in a way so that's a different goal so maybe they want is this strange game whereby you want to get third place you know which is i think pretty interesting but again this is more usually a story thing rather than if you if you're very competitive this of course does apply and the last one is of course like from cosmic encounter you know fantastic game it's joint winning you know whereby like a twilight like Rex or Dune and all that, whereby when you play, you can win, you not alone, you know, I mean, where, like Cosmic Encounter, you can choose to win together as a team. So, you going for second place might actually still make you the winner, which is just an excellent idea. And on top of that, for me personally, Rex does it even better, because what happens, they give you these betrayal cards, whereby if you do this thing, even if you win as a team, you win. You know, so it's always this back and forth pool. And, you know, so when you do things like people say, like, that doesn't make sense, you had, you as another player have to think, is he doing that because he wants to do that betrayal goal? And so it not only does it help to the king making situation, it, it actually adds to the game flavor. So I love, like, Cosmic Encounter and Rex when they do that. It's fantastic. Joint winning, in a way. In conclusion, I do hope that more games incorporate not making first place a you know, just something to throw away that achieving second, third place or even last place maybe having something to do with a story or something to do with another game or so on and so forth to be something to be achieved because it creates so much more atmosphere so that the person who's in last place doesn't just give up and just walks away from the table in a way which can be annoying you know, like I have seen that before so hopefully that comes about thank you very much, till next word